Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, welcome to Kerbal Space Program, actually. Um, doing something a little different. Uh, taking a little break from Flight Sim. Um, so today we're going to be uh, having some fun. We're going to put some uh, rockets up in orbit. Uh, get some satellites up there. Uh, attempt a mock Artemis 1 mission. Uh, that is slated to launch, I believe, August 20th. Um, I believe they already have it out on the pad, too, so it's basically ready to go. They're just um, waiting for that launch window, I guess. Um, so Artemis 1, just a little uh, fact about it. It is going to be unmanned, so it's going to be controlled from Earth. Um, and in order for that to happen in Kerbal Space Program, we're going to have to put some satellites up in orbit so that it can communicate back to Kerbin, which is uh, the game's version of Earth. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to kind of put, I believe we want two satellites. So we're going to put one between Earth or Kerbin and the Mun. Um, about halfway between and then we'll get one orbiting the moon that way we can have a uh, good connection because if I don't have a connection then I'd really have no control over the spacecraft when it's over especially on the uh, far side so we're going to jump into our vehicle assembly building and everything I use is going to be stock um, I do have a couple mods, like the clouds and the atmosphere. Um, I have a restock mod, so it's the same parts as, um, it's all stock, it's just um, different textures to make it look more, I guess, realistic. <clears throat> Alright, so satellites, um, let's jump into it, oh, that's cool, I didn't know I could change the color of that. So we're going to build one. This one is going to go between Carbon and Mun. It doesn't have to be real big. So I'll put a block between it. Nope. Nope. I think it's something between so I can There we go. Six uh, solar panels in there. Those too big. That no, we do not need those solar panels, it's way too big. Um what those? Oh those are bigger. Yeah, we don't need those either. There we go, we can just take a couple of those on there. So on top, we're going to have a relay antenna. Make it a big one. Uh, we'll get a couple dishes on here as well. Uh, this is one that they use on the Apollo missions. So we'll get this one. We'll have it facing this way. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to try and have them facing multiple directions. And we'll get one that opens up. We'll put that up here. It's a communication satellite, so we want a lot of communication systems on board. Also to make it look cool, I guess. That's that one we don't. That one I can actually come down here. How would this look with it all extended? So 
small solar panels. You know what? I'm probably going to go for the bigger ones. Fill in the space. Do the one by fives. There we go. That looks better. To retract everything. And if you can't tell, I do uh, kind of lose my voice. Um, I got the end of summer allergies, and I just had a uh, a tournament this past weekend, so it's a lot of yelling. Um, so we're gonna get a battery on here. There we go. And it's gonna have a constant charge with these solar panels. Put a smaller relay on here too. Uh, yeah, we'll just put it right there. Can't have too many. Better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Uh, nope, too small. There we go. And then we'll put... You know what, we can go ahead and put our shroud around it. Oh. There we go. So we're not going to need a big rocket. Is that going to fit? Ooh, barely. Get that a little bit more pointed. Look right there. There we go. Looks better. Uh, we want clamshell, otherwise, it's going to split into a million pieces. And we'll just have uh, two sides projection force. Put it up. I feel like 100 isn't enough. Uh, we're going to change the color of it. Put gold. Looks kind of cool. Silver. We'll just go with the black and white. And so the upper stage. What do we want to use? It's too much fuel. Um. Gotta find. Yeah, so this one, 53, per second, can I use that one, no, so put an engine plate on it before anything else. I should do triple engines. Um, reading all the. Trying to find one with good thrust and then multiply it by three. Could use this one. Yeah, we'll use this one here. Like that. And then we'll move them in just a little bit so that the cover can go on. Coupler 
should be that one. There we go. So the upper stage isn't going to be burning very long. It's, if anything, it's just going to be um, putting on the finishing touches, I guess, of the orbit. Right, so the main rocket. So this will be the first stage. Not going to need a whole lot of fuel because um, we'll also have assistance from some solid rocket boosters. Let's move this down a bit, right above the ground there. Um, coupling. No, those are the ones with explosive charges. I don't like those. Please we'll these. Nope, too big. Um, no, there we go. So we don't need a whole lot. Can we use those? Those look good. They're kind of small. Um. Yeah, we can go with these. And if not, we can just come back to the drawing board. Move those down just a little bit. There we go. And then we'll add a couple more decouplers up here. Right there. Beautiful. And we're going to auto strut it so that it basically connects itself uh, to the heaviest part so it doesn't fall apart. Uh, we'll come up here and we'll auto strut all the way down. Do the same thing up here, auto strut. And we're going to disable the staging for the engine plate. So now the nose cone. Nope, too big. Too small. Nope. Too big. Uh, wow. Is there a connecting piece we can use for that? Nope, too big. Oh, nope, still too big. I guess it's the best it's gonna get. Let's put on a tiny one. Does that work? Yeah, that does not look aerodynamic. Um I guess we'll just go with these. No harm in it. <clears throat> Gonna move our stagings around. So these are gonna go off the same time as the decouplers so that they are pushed away from the rocket. Bottom two. Here we go. Move these two. Yeah. Then move those up to the decouplers. And then up here, we're going to put eight of them. Oops. Right there. And then we'll move them in. 
and rotate them out. Right there. So this will pull the first stage away from the second stage. We probably won't even need to fire the second stage until we are at our um, apoapsis, which is the highest point from for the highest point in the orbit. And there, we'll just kind of uh, push the orbit out. Um, so we're gonna have this as five. And then we're going to put some more mini boosters right there. So this will pull the second stage away from the payload. Right there. Make sure it's strutted down. Good. And the last things. So on the right spot. It's not. Where did the other ones go? Oh, you don't need your height. Uh, you come up here, so it's going to be the last things to go off. So now we're going to add. for stability on the launch pad we'll put one on each side and then we'll put four around the first stage right there there we go come up here to the actions page uh, so custom one, we're going to extend the solar panels, and then custom two, we're going to open up all the antennas. And have them transmit. Is that one open to... There we go. There's a tight fit in there. Alright, so this will be, I guess, uh, mun, com, one. We'll pick our flag. And I'll do that one. Alright, I think we are good to go. Um. I'm going to go over the staging really quick. So first we're going to light the four mains. Let them run for a couple seconds, make sure it's all good. Uh, second is going to be um, SRB ignition and clamp release. Next is going to be SRB separation. Then first stage separation second stage ignition and then we'll open up the fairings once we are um, going up the orbit and once we are in our parked orbit we will release the payload so to save that in case anything happens and we're going to launch. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, what you're seeing is not default at all to um, Kerbal Space Program. I forget what mod it is, I just installed it on CCAN, uh, which is a mod installer for PC. 
But if you were to play this on PlayStation or Xbox, you will not have these clouds. Um, and then the plume you will see in a second when I start the engines is not default either. Alright, so SAS mode is on for stability. We're going to have a throttle all the way up. And we're going to go in five, four, three, main engine start, two, one, lift off. And we are hauling, so we're going to actually slow or throttle down the mains to about 75%. So our Apoapis is the highest point of the orbit and the Periapis Apsis is the lowest. Next we're going to start our right hand turn. Uh, we're going to try and maintain the 90 degrees. For those who don't know, in order to get a rocket into orbit, you do not go straight up. You actually uh, all the curvature of the planet. All right, SRB cut off, and we'll do a separation. We have good separation. We're going to throttle up all the way now. Going to keep curving into it. We're a little high on there, actually. And maintain our 90 degree heading. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, perfect. So it looks like we're going to fire our second stage just for a little bit, kind of put us in the middle. Alright, so main engine cutoff, we're going to have stage separation and uh, ignition. Seco. And fairing deployment. Payload is exposed. And so now we are heading away from Kerbin. I believe that's Minimus over there. That's uh, Kerbin's second moon. Yeah, that's Minimus. And so what we're going to do is we're going to plan our second burn and try and put it in the middle I'm gonna go with six point five at the Apple Atlas. So it's going to be a three second burn. Uh, we're going to turn the spacecraft towards the maneuver mode. Node, sorry. And what we'll actually do is we will uh, skip forward to the maneuver. So we got T minus 55 seconds. And we'll actually skip forward. Watch that time 30, 20, 10. So we're just going to slowly throttle up. So 
so we don't end up missing it. And there we go. Slowly coming back down. And, uh, and there's 6.5. So we can clear that. So when we come back over here, it's going to be a quick uh, on and off. We don't even have to plan it. We'll just warp. Ah, oh, you know what? I just messed up. Ran out of battery. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just revert it back to launch. All right, take two. Uh, so now we know to deploy the solar panels before anything. All right, so we're going to throttle up to 75%. Uh, main engine's on. Three, two, one. Ignition, and there we go. slowly bring the throttle up and start our 90 degree heading Good separation. And we'll max throttle now. Try and keep it on that 90 degree line. There we go. in the orbit. All right, main engine cutoff, stage separation, throttle down to about 25%, and number two. We're going to be going up to 6.5. Ooh. Um, actually, we'll bring it up to an even 7.5. There we go. Alright, so fairing deploy, and we'll actually open up the solar panels. So our batteries do not die on us. Alright, so we're going to plan the next burn. going to bring it out try and keep it at 7.5 too far it's 
about as close as we're going to get. We're going to turn to the maneuver node. Wait for it to stabilize. And we'll skip to the maneuver. T minus one minute. We'll skip ahead. I don't feel like waiting a minute. All right, 15 seconds. It's going to be a three second burn. And ignition. There we go. We'll have the prograde node on. Put it on the horizon. I guess there's really no horizon. We're in space. And we will disconnect in three two, one. So that's going to be orbiting around Kerbin. And we're going to deploy the satellite dishes. And there we go. And they're closing again. Extend. Extend. There we go. Do we want it facing the planet? Yeah, we'll do that. Right, so it looks like on separation it kind of pushed us out um, by 0.4, but it's no big deal. And so that's our second stage uh, booster orbit. So that's going to be space chunk. Turn all those off. All right, so we're going to head back to the space station, or not the space station, the um, I guess the space center, and we'll work on a MUN satellite that'll be orbiting around the MUN. We're going to create a new one. We want to use, I guess we'll use the same thing. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Um, how do we want to do this? Nope. Nope. Nope, we don't need that put that on it's like Legos but with rockets uh, we'll put that one on so we have a lot of battery so like we did before we're gonna have a giant uh, relay antenna on the top 
Uh, how do we want to do this? I guess we could put six of these around here. There we go. Uh, What's that one look like? Those are pretty cool. I wonder if I can have them open up. There we go. I like that. That looks cool. Um, solar panel. With that, I guess that wouldn't really interfere with it. I just want to make sure if it rotates, it doesn't really collide with these. It doesn't look like it will. Unless we'll keep those there. Um, put a couple more smaller antenna. Put them right there. How would that look right there? So which one's bigger? This one bigger? No. Alright, we'll get one of these on there too. Because when it's on the far side of the moon, uh, is where it loses uh, communication. I probably won't blow this one up. We could probably. Well, this one might actually blow up. I crashed into the moon yesterday by mistake. I was trying to make a uh, a trans carbon injection, and I didn't realize it was facing the wrong way, and so I basically. Uh, crash right into it. Sorry, I'm getting messages for work. You know what, that might actually be a good idea too. I might actually put um, some, maybe one or two on the moon so that it, uh, it relays it. Good call. All right, so toggle extend, yeah. not even toggle. I think that was the problem with the crap. 
um, the um, other ones. Right, so that's going to be custom too, and that's going to be extend the antenna. I'm going to do this one as well. Not you. Extend. And we'll put one more over here. ID4, what is ID4? I'm gonna be honest, I think I've only seen the first one. Put a small relay right there. Nice little rocket. Or satellite. Um right, decoupler. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. And that one fits. Put that right here. Yes, I know what Independence Day is. I've just never seen the fourth one. I don't think. Well, put a bigger fuel tank on this one. And then put the engine plate on. We'll have three of them again. Nope, that's it. Triple. Uh, disable the staging. Oh, no. oh wow, those are way too small. Okay. Um, So those only burn 18. Point six four a second. Huh. Well, I guess we could use that one actually. Because really all it's going to do is put us... in orbit around the moon yeah that'll work um, be that one and it's not that one it's this one. Oh. yes okay now it's gonna be a bigger first stage. Uh, nope. Yep. Move it up so I have 
grew. And then we'll add that one. All right, engine plate, we want the biggest one. We'll have a quad. Compact ones. Okay. Um. Yeah, we want the bigger one this time. Uh, right there. Perfect. And we'll slip another detachment in there. Uh, get a nose cone on it. straight into the heaviest part. It'll come up here, heaviest part, heaviest part, uh, just so it doesn't fall apart. And we'll get our launch stabilizers. I'll move it down in a minute. Uh, I'll put it right there. Far about right there. Okay. okay. So those are going to go off at the same time. The four down there. And then we're going to do what we did before. Have these go off. Stage separation. There we go. So those eight come up here. Is that the right one? Oh, it's the wrong one. We want that one. What are you? Be that? Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, so they're going to separate that one. Alright, so once we're around the moon, this one will actually, or should have enough thrust to. the orbit itself and crash into the moon so there's no space junk orbiting and we'll have that set to one okay so this will be um, I guess mine orbiter one Make sure it's all set up. We got our custom group. So custom one is the solar panels. We'll deploy those on our way to the moon. And then custom two is extending the antenna. All right, so first we got main engine. 
Got main engines. Excuse me, I got take ups. And then boosters launch clamps and booster separation. You're gonna come up here. Right, so booster separate, booster, yeah, booster separation, and then first stage separation, second stage engines. We'll probably, because I have an idea for launch. Save some fuel. Um, so we'll go three sides. Make it gold. We'll make it look pretty. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just keep the same flag. See me again. Um, all right, I think we are ready to go. So we're going to launch. So we're going to go to the map. Got to time it right. So usually, when going to the moon, what they'll do is they'll launch the rocket and put it in a parked orbit around Earth, and then wait for the lunar injection window. But what I'm going to do is skip the parking orbit completely and just burn straight to the lunar orbit. So we'll keep it about right there. That looks like it's good. Because <clears throat> really it saves gas because you're not worrying about putting it into an orbit and then burning again to head to the moon. All right, so throttle up all the way. And we are good to go. So main engine start and booster ignition. about 75% so we don't over stress the spacecraft
so we're looking good. I'm going to drop the nose just a little bit. So we're going to toggle prograde. We've got about 30 seconds left of burn time. Slowly start bringing the throttle back. separation and we are on our way to the moon. Bearing deploy and we'll get these solar panels open. So what I'm probably going to do, since I do have a lot of fuel, um, is probably do a, um, a polar orbit so that I really don't have to worry about it going around the far side. I can really just orbit like this. So I will constantly have um, good connection with the planet. Or at least I'll try to anyway. So we're going to play on the next maneuver, and that is to get a good orbit around the moon. I'll go 1.6. It's a good start. So we'll turn towards the maneuver node. it to stabilize and we will slowly watch carbon get smaller or quickly So that is Joule, uh, that's the equivalent of Jupiter in Kerbal Space Program. And so we're going to get the engines on, that way we are ready to burn in 40 seconds. Looks like it's going to be about 4 seconds estimated burn time, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than that. And for the burn, I'm also going to close the solar panels, if they close. There we go. Four, three, two, one, ignition. Cut off. And we'll, you know, we can actually keep it going. Um, see how this will work. Uh, maybe we can get it. I'm not 
I have to get it lined up perfectly. See, that one went too far. So we gotta watch it. Um, nope, too far. Don't want that. Or don't want that. See, we want something like this. Oh, why did I do that? We want something like that. But on the other side. Something like that. Um, we can actually have it like that, so we're technically never on the far side because when it comes over here, it'll be like that, so it'll basically disappear from the view there. Um, Yeah, I like this one. And then we'll push it out. Nope, I want to do that. About. Nope. All right, we'll keep it there and then we'll do a little bit more adjusting once this is set. So it looks like 11 hours until the next burn, but that will be probably five minutes when I hit the skip button. We got the solar panels open again. Probably keep them open this time. Let them face the sun. And skip. All right, so we got about T minus one minute. And now we have about T minus 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, ignition. So that's good there. It's not going to be perfect yet. Okay, so now I'm going to close it in. Would be a good one to we'll do 200 kilometers from the surface yeah that one's good there you go time warp Oh, that was cool. You can see the shadow of the moon. Nice solar eclipse just happened. All right, T minus one minute once again. 30, 20, 10. And burn. Alright, 
and so now we'll plan our last maneuver. Keep that one ninety nine. This will be another quick burn. And we're good for a separation. Three, two, one. Well, I actually pushed this up a lot. Wow. Even with an ejection force of one. I gotta figure out how to calculate that because that completely screwed up the orbit. Oh well. Alright, so we're going to deploy the satellite dishes. And there we go. So we're in a good orbit around the MUN. Um, I think it was actually a good idea to put one on the moon as well. Uh, so we'll probably do that. And then we'll build the Artemis 1 rocket. Alright, so back to the Space Center again. So what I'll do really quick is save the progress. We'll do a quick save and then come to the VAB. And we can make a new one. Alright. So a moon lander. This time we'll be using a remote guidance system. So it doesn't have to be too big. We do want to make sure we have enough. I do not want that one. I want that one. Fuel. So this is a liquid engine. liquid fuel do that and 
Yeah, it looks good. Um, put something on the bottom so it doesn't look like naked. Do I want liquid fuel or do I want to use? I don't know. Would monopropellant would be better? Let's just liquid fuel. Liquid. Those are monopropellant tanks. Um. That's also liquid. Um, that's a lot of liquid fuel. You know, we'll just keep it like that. No biggie. Actually, that's a big lander. Um, so we'll use this one. That huh, those are the marker pellet takes. It's a lot of auto. Um if we just use two Not one on each side so these things burn what 3.6 a second that's just whatever that is do some calculations at 7.2 and 540 divided by 7.2 so 75 seconds of burn time so a little over a minute um, it's probably not Like, this won't do anything at all. Uh, hmm. This one actually might be good. Yes, we'll use that. I mean, I have a couple of seconds, but it doesn't. So one of these use, well, this one doesn't have as much thrust as one of those, but we don't need a whole lot of thrust because we are landing on the moon. Um, Coupler on there. Not yet. Need some landing legs. Too small. Nope, still too small. There we go. Perfect.
So relay. Four of those open. We'll probably put those closer to the bottom. Or what else can we put on it to look cool? Put a couple solar panels on as well. Only need two. Those are cool. Um, we do need a battery and reaction wheels. Put that on. We'll just throw some extra batteries on there. And we'll put them inside. Oh, what? Could have done that this whole time. Oh well. Yeah, so that'll go there. So when fully extended. There the saddle there, the solar panels were gonna go there. Um, put the bigger ones on? Too much? Actually, no, that looks perfect. I don't know if I like those better or the, the round ones. Look cooler. I like those. Those look better. Um, okay. Actions. Right, these will be custom two, and that'll be extend. Oh, another one to extend. Yeah. Extend. Retract those. Start retracted. Do these have a gimbal on them? Yeah, they do. Always gotta look for that. Um, I think the custom one is obviously going to be the solar panels. We'll do a line. Once so we got the extra batteries on, we have a bunch of communications. It's actually stuck in there. Uh,
do it. Too big. Why are you not doing what I want you to do? But yeah, that's better. And then they'll just rotate to face the sun. And so actions, extend. That'll be good. Okay. So now we can enclose it. Actually, make it kind of come out like this, like the Falcon 9 rockets. bigger tank again and then want the engine plate so really we're gonna use yep, the same uh, rocket design I want to use. Oh, that is big. Um, which ones did I use? That one? I used three of those. Um, oh, I think I used those. Yeah, I think I use those. Okay, coupling. Uh, that one, good. Then we want the adapter. Engine plate, a new quad, uh, disable staging. Want four of these. Good. And two decouplers. Uh, put the booster on mount. I think it's good placement there. Add a couple more to the first stage body. It'll fit. Is that it? No, I actually put the booster on. Wrong. Uh, wasn't lined up. There we go. Alright. Nose cone. Goes on. Now it's time to auto strut everything together. Come up here. Auto strut. Auto strut, auto strut, 
Don't need to do that one. Okie dokie. And then put eight of these on here. Move those out, then in. Do the same up here. Out, then in, like that. And now it's time to put everything together. So that's first, uh, second, just the first set. Is the first step. So those two go together. That comes before that. Um, this one, this one go together. Those will be the last one, second to last ones. fairing first hopefully should have enough fuel to land let's put on our attachments put oh that stinks there we go right there and we'll put four of them Right there. Move the spacecraft down. And then we're going to put these with the boosters. And I think that is everything. And we'll name this. Mine relay lander one. And I'll save it and launch. So after this one, we'll start working on the SLS and Orion. So we can do a mock mission for Artemis one. Go to the map, find out where the moon is. Looks like it's going to be another daytime launch. A little bit further. A little bit more. Alright, SAS on, throttle all the way up, main engine start, and lift off. down to 75% and begin our right hand turn to follow the 93 line.
two, one, and separation. And we are go for full throttle. Seventy-five seconds left of bird time. there and good well, that's great so if we m end up missing it for some reason we'll just have a uh, collision course back to Kerbin all right so we have managing cutoff we can go ahead and separate stage one and we can open up the payload fairing so that's what happens when you don't turn on a clamshell before there's like a million pieces that come off. All right, so we'll open up the solar panel. Get all charged up. What we'll actually do is we'll turn and face the sun. this landing what I'm going to try to do is land close to the North Pole um, that way if I have a satellite or something on the far side it can relay up to the top and then go um, instead of having it sit on like the center of it and it goes around and then it ends up going to the dark side and loses communication. Alright, we'll do 125 to start. Let's see this node. As long as I have solar panels facing the sun, it's all good. And they are good. All right, so we're going to fast forward to the maneuver. 
So we got a minute. And I believe that first stage is actually going to be colliding. Yep, it's going to be colliding back on Kerbin, so we don't have to worry about that. So we have our other space junk out here. Uh, that one is also on a collision course. Yeah, that'll be getting there probably around the same time as this one. As so we have about 30 seconds, we're going to activate the engines. For about 20 seconds. And I believe it said we have about 35 seconds of fuel um, for this stage. Should be more than enough. Burn. And cut off. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, we're just kind of setting it up. Alright, so this one can probably set it up to where we can have it close to the pole. Got to keep adjusting it. Yep, oh, almost had it. Alright, so right there is good, but that's a 14 second burn. So we'll be cutting it close. How much seconds? So we have 30 seconds. You know what? I'm going to risk it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then oh well. Um, what I'll do is I'll also open up. The other antenna. Because the maneuver does take place on the far side. So here's all the communications. And as long as we have boom boom we're good. Alright, skip forward just a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one, ignite. So what happens if I add this maneuver here? Um, you know what, we don't need a maneuver. We're just going to switch to retrograde and we'll kind of close it in. It's pretty close to the pole. We can actually go ahead and start coming in. Like there are a lot of craters up there. 
looks pretty flat over there, so that's what we'll aim for. And we'll do um, move that up. We'll see if that can kind of push it up just a little bit. There we go. So we're not coming in too shallow. Alright, so we'll fast forward. What we'll do is close the solar panels. I oh, don't mind, they don't close. That stinks. Oh well. No biggie. We'll move it in just a little bit more. Alright, so we're going to be facing retrograde now. I think we're doing pretty good. You know, a lot of that looks flat down there already. So we'll slow it down. And then all this will just crash onto the moon. A little bit faster. Separate. All right, so we do not want to be in that crater. Hopefully this is a good spot. We're going to deploy the landing gear. We'll kind of free fall down to the surface. And what we'll do... Which way is that way? So we'll face this way. Slow it down actually move ourselves over to where that ring is right there looks like it might be a better landing spot over there I think that one might be better I don't even know what that ring is space rock Looks pretty flat right there. I just don't want to end up in that. I wouldn't be bad. Yeah, this is a nice smooth surface. A little bit of a slope, but that's all right. Not too much. All 
There's engine cut off and shut down. We'll unrealistically rotate it so that we're facing the sun. I think we're actually sliding down just a little bit. That's all right. We'll reopen the um, communitrons. And there we go. Pretty close to the pole. What are you? I guess it's nothing important then. Um, Alright, so we are now on top of the moon. It looks like we have direct communication. Wow, we don't even have it with that satellite down there. Um. Oh, yeah, there we go. We have it. It's good. So really, as long as... Oh, we lost it. That's weird. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, so now it is time to... Go back to the Space Center and we'll start working on the SLS and Orion rocket. <sighs> First we're going to do a quick save. And then to load. Any day now. All right, new. Now what I'm going to do is pull up a picture of uh, we'll work on Orion first. Give me just one minute. So here is the Orion spacecraft. Um, so it's going to sit on top of the SLS rocket, which is what you see in orange. Um, so it's going to be the capsule. Sorry if it's in a different language. I was really just doing it for the uh, diagram. Uh, so it's going to be the capsule. It seats four. This is going to be a slight amendment to the Kerbal Space Program one because uh, KSP only seats three in its capsule. Um, underneath the capsule is a storage compartment slash fuel tank. Uh, and it's also got four solar panels on. So I'm going to... What I have to do is Kerbalize it and kind of uh, work around and see... Um, 
what I can do to make it look as close to it as the uh, real thing. All right, so that's the Orion spacecraft, and here are the stages for the SLS rocket. So we got the uh, first stage, or the core stage. Um, it's going to be an orange tank. It's got four, what is it, RS-25 engines. And uh, two solid rocket boosters. And then the second stage um, is basically what does the um, injections. I believe this rocket is also going to be used to take people and equipment to them to Mars as well um, but for now they're just using it to get to the moon and the thing <clears throat> sorry and the thing about the Orion or really this whole thing is there's no room to put a lander in the rocket um, what's gonna happen is they're actually gonna have like an orbiting station with landers already on it around the moon and basically the Orion space aircraft will go dock with that space station orbiting the moon and then the astronauts would board the lander land on the moon and then come back up and then NASA and whoever else um, is partnering with them will be sending like fuel and food and everything else um, up to that space station keep it resupplied so it uh, remains in operation Okie dokie. Alright, we'll get this off the screen. I'm going to pull it up on my browser. There. Alright, so we're going to start off with the command pod. And up top is going to be a docking port and on top of that is going to be the launch escape system so in case anything happens it'll pull the capsule away we're going to set that to the docking port setting nice right underneath it it's going to be the heat shield actually um, I'm going to put one of these on first. Um, actually, I'm going to have to restart. You know what, we're just going to keep the Kerbals on. Uh, this will be a manned mission, I guess. I don't feel like doing all that to make the um, make it drone operated. Alright, so... Um, try and get this. I want to do this. There's an adapter that goes underneath. So that's storage. And underneath that, let's put a fuel tank. Uh, what fuel tank do we want to use? Nope. Um. Yeah, it looks good. All right, engines. Looks like a trumpet mouthpiece. All right, this one's actually good. And what we'll do is we'll move it up. Uh, looks like the bell of it sticks out like that. Uh, 
it looks like they also have two smaller engines that stick out of it on both sides so we'll put those there can I change the color of them? yeah actually they don't have that shroud on it and we'll move those in like that Right, that looks right. We'll move it down just a little bit. All right. Um, also has RCS thrusters for docking. So looks like they got two horizontal ones right there. About right there on both sides and then they have two of them on the bottom but looking at this diagram I don't know if it's on both sides or not um, Not a hundred percent sure. Mm. Okay, so actually there are four engines looking at this. Um so there's not two of them, there's actually four of them. Get rid of those. And we'll replace them. Make them gray. I'll put them in the wrong spot. So they're actually that. And then we move them in. way that would be right there uh, so they're about between almost in the middle yeah that's good Up. But we'll redo that placement and then we'll just keep the snap mode on. See if that brings it in. Uh, Nope, still not even. Um, okay. So if I did that. So not even. Um, all right, so right there. Nope. Oh boy. Um.
Ah, there we go. Yeah, these look better. So those will go right there. Actually move them out just a little bit farther. Right there. And then move them up just a smidge. Alright. There. Okay. And then it looks like we got two vertical RCS thrusters. There we go. Alright, so we have our RCS thrusters on, we have our engines, which all need to be the same thing. Alright, so parachutes. One of the most important things. I will put four of them. Um, and we'll have the kind of flat like that around there, so we're not blocking the capsule's RCS thrusters. And that'll be the last stage to go off. Okay. Um, I'm gonna pull up the. So this is the. Actually, no. I still have to put on the solar panels. Um, so they're one by three solar panels. But I do not have one by threes in here, so we'll do one by sixes. I'm actually going to be like that. Let's make sure we're on the line there. And then two more. And when this. Uh, deployed, they're kind of at an angle. It's a little smaller than the picture. Pull that up. Yeah. Just want to take that off. So this is the best I can get it. I think that looks pretty good for Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so now we're going to look at the rocket now. Let me pull up that picture. Uh, this one. Okay, so we'll retract these solar panels. Uh, you know what? We also need RCS fuel, and those run on mono propellant. Let's put in a few tanks of that.
There we go. Let's see, we got plenty of mono propellant. Now, what we'll do is add a decoupler. This one has a fairing that will open up. No, not like that. It'll be this one. So the fairing kind of hides everything in here. Actually, we'll move that down just a little bit. There we go. So that's going to be white. I'm trying to match the colors as well. Alright, so next is the second stage. And I'll do this one once again. But this time it will be orange. Actually, it is also white. And this one has one engine. Which one do we want to use? Which one has more thrust? Um, Yeah, that one's good. We'll use this one. Okay. Um, we do not need our shroud. Alright, so this one is the big one. that and then this one so we're going to disable the it's really we don't even need it to go off so we can put that all the way up there this one is going to clamshell, and I believe it separates into four. And this one will be gray and orange. Alright, so we're going to have two tanks on here. First one. And then the second one. And that's all orange. Move that up so I can work underneath. Right, so like the other rockets I just built, that uses a quad engine plate. And then we'll use the, we'll use these again. I like using these. Um, Right, that's good there. And again, uh, we'll be using two solid rocket boosters. Uh, we'll use this connector. Do one. Oh, is that another one? I think up there. We want that one, that one's the more powerful one. Make sure that's on, and it is. Actually want to lower it just a little bit. About right there is where it's gonna be sitting. Alright, and now we need the nose coon.
So, yeah, this one is white. Alright, so now it's time to put on the million tiny boosters for separation. Again, we'll move it out and then push it in. So that's the first stage and second stage. So this one will not open, but this one does open. And we'll also put eight of these on there as well. And then turn them out. Push them in. Turn and push. Now we need our launch. Or our launch pad stability thingies. Put one on each. And then we'll do four. Put them about right there. Alright, so now we're going to auto strut most of the parts together so they're not wobbling around. Good. It's time to organize the staging. Alright, so these three already together that's good that one goes first these are our SRB decouplers that can be disabled we do not need that um, so we'll just move those down move these two together and those go with this one. That one comes first. This one comes off after SRB separation. Um, those are going to be toggle extend. And then for our abort, this one will activate the engine. And uh, decouple that. Did I do this one? Did I do the solar panels? Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's make sure everything's good to go. So we're not landing on the moon, we're just going to... This is the Artemis 1. And it is a NASA flight. Alright, so we got four mains, solid rocket boosters, three separation. Launch escape system, separation, 
first stage separation, second stage Orion exposure, Orion separation, Orion's engines, and then capsule separation, parachutes. And this one we don't need to worry about it. Because once that's gone, it's. Oh, there we go. We can unstage that. There we go. Got it. Alright, so we come to the crew. We're going to have the infamous Jebediah Kerman on board. So uh, hopefully it is a smooth flight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide a couple antennas here. So we get a little bit... <sighs> Sorry, there's a fly in my face. Uh, better coverage so we can communicate back to the space center all right I think that is it we can save and You know, I don't like the way that looks. Like when it, when this comes off, it's just gonna be floating there. So what I'll actually do is I'll put some struts on just to make it look like it's doing something. Put them underneath. All right, so save, and we are go for launch. All right, so like our last launch, we will not be putting ourselves in a parking orbit. Uh, it saves time and gas. So we're gonna come around once. So we can get that perfect uh, launch window. Looks like we might actually have a night launch. We will have a night launch. And about right there. All right, so we're going to go back. SES mode on. Throttle is full. And we are ready to go. Main ignition will start. Three, two, one. Booster ignition and lift off. percent and start our 90 degree turn
three, two, one, separation. Here we here, go for a throttle up. Nothing but smiles from uh, Jebediah and Bill Kerbin. is actually going to cut it out at 90 kilometers. All right, there is our first stage cutoff. And we can also do the launch tower separation. First stage separation. And we are going to ignite the second stage. Have that follow the prograde node. That is good there. Um, how much fuel do we have? So we have about 48 seconds to burn for that stage. That's actually good. Uh, we'll get the lights on. And then we'll open up the fairing and actually deploy the solar panel so that when we come out from behind the planet we can charge our batteries. I did both, I guess not. Right, so we can actually separate this stage now. Um, Orion is basically going to be um, using the gravitational pull of the moon to come back to carbon. And I can actually do a slight burn adjustment. Um, do that later on up here. So we end up on a collision course, quote unquote, a planned collision or intercept course. That's better. Right there. Don't want to come in too steep, don't want to come in too shallow. So that actually looks good right there. So we're going to be firing our Orion, the Orion's engines for just a little bit, get that course correction in. 
And we'll still have fuel save uh, if we do need to make any correction burns last second. going to do is it's going to do a um, we're going to come up we're going to intercept or really encounter uh, kind of fly by it leave it and then uh, come back to curb it so we'll fly heading prograde and then we'll fast forward it So unfortunately with this flyby we don't really get too close. Um, you know, this actually wasn't a really good example of what it's gonna do. <laughs> so what Artemis is gonna do is gonna launch, it's gonna fly, kinda do a figure eight around it, and then come back. So the RCS, we'll get that on, and we'll turn this off. So these thrusters would actually be used to um, help control the spacecraft when docking. So we can move forward, we can move backwards, uh, left and right, up and down. And it's kind of centered too, so it wouldn't really um, kind of affect the pitch. Goodbye, moon. Alright, so now we are... Yeah, that was not a great... I wonder if we can actually get another encounter. Probably not. <laughs> uh, looks like we have 40 seconds left to burn. I wonder if we can get any closer. So that is a nine second burn, and it does not take us back. And that'll keep us at um, 1.5 million meters from the moon. You know what? Not more looking at it. All right, so we'll worry about coming back to Kerbin. We'll just warp over here. There was another solar eclipse if you didn't see that. All right, and then it'll be approaching Earth. Oh, <laughs> oh I hate this. Not that fast. <laughs> oh, I just killed Jebediah. 
All right, so we'll redo that. No biggie. Oh, I hate when the re or the time warp does that. <laughs> All right, so clear everything off the map again. Um, no, it's too late for that one. Nope, I said again. Dang it. Um, prefer a daytime launch. Nope, another nighttime. Alright, throttle up. Planning is on. And booster ignition. Yeah, lift off. degrees above the horizon. <laughs> and we can jettison the tower deck. seconds or so. Stage separation, second stage ignition. <laughs> See if we can get a uh, closer moon encounter. Uh, 
Alright, that was a little too far. But we can do some uh, adjustments. Oh, okay. So here's what we're going to do. Alright, I like this one there. So we're going to have two... Actually, this is definitely not what they're going to be doing. So we're going to have the moon slingshot us... ...out... ...and then... We'll have another moon encounter, which will then bring us back to Kerbin. All right, I like that. And so we can open up the fairing. Because that will actually won't take a lot of fuel and we can separate the Orion from the second stage. Open up the solar panels. Get our lights on. And now we're just kind of cruising now at this point. So we'll go to our first moon encounter. Which actually brings us a lot closer. We'll just cruise past the moon, getting as close as, what was it, 300,000 meters? about a 15 second burn all right no biggie how much fuel do we have 48 all right so that's Eve that's um, KSP's version of Venus, I believe. Oh, yeah. And then we have Duna, which is Mars, and then Moho Mercury.
That one? No. Let's see if I any other. So Jewel's over there. So get the engines on. And there we go. Right, so now we'll work to about right there. This time it won't hold it for as long. Actually, a good shot right there. You have all happy Kerbals. <laughs> right, so it looks like we'll be landing on land. Which is alright. Turn the lights off. So we're going to face up. And we're going to disconnect the trunk. And face retrograde so that our uh, heat shield goes in first. Now we wait. So these trails are also not default, it's a mod, uh, give it more realistic re-entry look. So that is our second state, or our, um, our trunk blowing up. It'd be cool if they add it where um, it actually gets charred after re-entry. Alright, so we're just going to be cruising on down. Um, I'll deploy the parachutes in just a couple seconds. And parachute boy. And now we slowly fall down to the planet. Alright, and we made it back in one piece.
on the second attempt. That's cool, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, I guess that would make sense. Um, like a Mars landing. That's probably something we'll do next time. Alright, so we'll recover the vessel. And that is all the time I have for now. Um, I'll definitely try to split it 50-50 between uh, Kerbal Space Program and the Flight Sims. Honestly, I forgot how fun this game was. All right, done. All right, um, I do not know when I will be online again. I will just post a uh, day before, 30 minutes before, or an hour before um, I get on. I'll probably play some Pro Kerbal, Space Pro Kerbal Space Program again. Um, we'll probably work on doing some other planetary stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.